Hey everyone, this is Seth Colliner for HotHardware.com and today we're going to have a look at the Alienware 18 Gaming Notebook. This is a generational update over last year's Alienware rigs and the performance has been upgraded accordingly. This machine runs a factory overclocked 4th generation Intel Core i7 4900MQ processor, dual NVIDIA GeForce GTX 780M GPUs with 4GB of DDR5 memory, and 32 gigabytes of dual channel DDR3 1600 MHz RAM. Dell also opted for a 512 gigabyte M SATA SSD and a 750 gigabyte SATA 3 gigabits per second 7200 RPM hard drive, which offers a nice pairing of performance and capacity on the storage side of things. Obviously, this is a big machine. It has a fetching 18.4 inch WLED FHD 1920 by 1080 resolution true life display and it's just the right amount of glossy with excellent viewing angles. For connectivity, this device has a Broadcom network adapter in addition to the killer E2200 gigabit Ethernet controller. There's also a slot loading dual layer Blu-ray reader that will also write DVDs and CDs. If you've been a fan of Alienware gaming notebooks for a while, you'll notice that this year's model has a whole new design. That's not to say anything disparaging at all about the previous design, but this look is really cut above. It has that same rubberized stealth black finish, but the whole keyboard area has been simplified and tidied up. The Alienware logo and media buttons are gone from above the keyboard there, and the keys no longer have that white ring around them. And the touchpad, instead of being rimmed in LED lights, actually lights up itself, which is very cool. You'll also notice that the Batmobile headlights on the front here have been replaced by a more demure grille design. Finally, there are 10 macro keys. There are six here on the side, and four more across the top. You still have a lot of excellent lighting control features on the Alienware 18. There are now 10 lighting zones and you can set the lighting schemes for each zone separately and choose from a variety of colors or simply opt for no lights at all. So for example we can just click the pad here, maybe go with red for that, and click the logo, maybe we'll go with pink, and there you go. You can change all 10 zones and you can also add a couple of effects if you like as well. On the right side of the machine is the slot loading optical drive, the SD card slot, two USB ports, and the LAN port. And on the opposite side there is a Kensington lock, the power jack, HDMI mini display port, two additional USB ports, and three audio jacks, two for headphones and one for a mic input. The power brick is fairly large. We saw a smaller one with the M17X last year, um, with the main difference being this one is has much more girth. Um, but this one looks a little bit more like the power bricks we're used to seeing from this line of computers. Also note, if you would, that the uh, redesign of the top of the laptop here. The familiar Alien logo is still there all lit up in blue, but there's a new V shape on the lid that lights up as well to give the machine just a little bit more pizzazz. Here you can see that we're running the Batman Arkham Asylum benchmark, and we're doing so at the system's native resolution of 1920 by 1080. We cranked up some of the settings here on this DX11 title, including 4X MSAA, and turned everything to high quality and extreme. We also left PhysX hardware acceleration on, and you can see how smooth the game runs and how crisp the details are. With these settings, this machine will hit 56 frames per second. And as you can hear, the audio is not too shabby either. Although we'd like to hear a little more in the way of dynamic range and more bass response, there's no distortion at all, even at high volumes, and you really can't ask a laptop for much more than that. I'm Seth Collin for HotHardware.com, and this has been a look at the Alienware 18 Gaming Notebook.